Somewhere there's a very nude cow whispering. Worth it. On paper, Red Notice reads like a no-brainer crowd pleaser. Ross and Marshall Thurber directs A-list trifecta Dwayne Johnson, Ryan Reynolds, and Gal Gadot in a slick action-adventure romp. It's got everything you need for the proverbial good soup of movie making, but unfortunately, Red Notice just takes sequences from far better films and mushes them all together into some bad goulash. John Hartley. It starts well enough with an engaging opening that sets up the MacGuffins of the film, which are the three ornate eggs that Mark Antony supposedly gifted Cleopatra on their wedding day. Two were recovered, with one in a museum in Rome and the other in the private collection of a wealthy arms dealer, while the third exists only in rumor. The Rome-based egg is targeted for thievery on the black market, which spurs Johnson's FBI special profiler and art specialist John Hartley to confirm that it's still secure. It is not, because famed art thief Nolan Booth, played by Reynolds, has already absconded with the priceless piece. The other player in this quest is Gadot's Sarah Black, a slinky art thief who makes it her life's work to be just one step ahead of both Hartley and Booth, as she's pursuing the eggs for a buyer willing to pay $300 million for their collection and delivery. In the first act, Thurber teases with a breezy and well-choreographed museum escape that he's going to subvert the big, loud set pieces expected in these kinds of films with something different. And then, he doesn't deliver. The more globetrotting chases we see, the less each scenario feels original or fresh. Several action sequences are framed like first-person video games with the camera putting us inside the action, but it's not exhilarating or innovative. It just feels gimmicky. There's also a pair of pretty distracting suspensions of disbelief required. First, that Reynolds could hold his own with Johnson in a fist fight, and secondly, that Johnson and Gadot's characters wouldn't gag Reynolds with a sock by the second act. Booth is a test to the nerves, with his constant, terrible running commentary of comebacks and snarkery about everything. Yes, it's Reynolds' signature shtick, but in Red Notice, he operates like an obnoxious talking doll with a broken pull string, and we all know he can do better when the material allows it. Additionally, there's no real antagonist of note to hang the stakes on, and that's because Thurber is more interested in maintaining the moral liquidity of all the characters. It's just an endless race from museums to Russian prisons to bullfighting rings and jungles, which all blur together as we wait for the leads to double-cross each other, because that's all the whole movie keeps giving us. Plus, by the second and third act, every set piece feels derivative from another movie, from Ocean's Eleven to National Treasure to Dirty Rotten Scoundrels. It's a shame because this talented cast is clearly up for doing something different. Gadot, when she appears, seems to be having a ton of fun. Reynolds is more than capable of not coming across like a human blooper reel, but that's all he's asked to do here. And Johnson does his best to bring a competent hotness to Hartley so he's not just the muscle, which makes him the MVP. But the dialogue and strange forced bromance that Booth demands of Hartley, even if it's a joke, is tiring and not as engaging as the filmmakers think it is. How's it going with your partner in crime? <laughs> Red Notice starts with a lot of energetic potential, but then devolves into a pastiche of other better films. Of the three megastar leads, Dwayne Johnson acquits himself the best to committing to his FBI profiler as more of a brainy hero rather than just brawn, and it works. Reynolds exists as a quip machine who gets tiresome quick, while Gadot feels like she's barely in it. While this may be positioned as a new franchise, there's nothing here that sets up any urgency or excitement to go on more adventures with this trio. Are you not entertained? For more action movies, check out what we thought of Eternals and The Harder They Fall. And for everything else, stick with IGN.